to collect unpaid bills. The company and staff have already received funds and will continue to make strides to, co to collect the unpaid bills of past customers. The City of Emmons grew in 2015. The Board of Education, along with the City Council, signed an agreement for the entire high school, middle school property to be annexed into the city. The annexation will enable the city to be able to assist with any needs that the school may have in the future. <clears throat> Santa Claus came to Alma probably about the same time in December. We received um, an early Christmas present this year by receiving the funds to build a new animal shelter. It is currently being constructed and will be completed in the spring of this year. The members uh, want to thank Gail Fivash. She played a big part in this. Gail has worked hard, spent money with gasoline back into making sure that the dogs were taken care of while the shelter has been built. Gail Fabash, uh, Pam Solomon, Judy Carter, Melissa Bagley Brown, uh, Miss Fields, Pam Carter, Janelda Fields, Pam Carter, and Connie Johnson as part of that um, committee. The police department received two grants in 2015. One of the grants was for 10,000 foot laptops, laptops in each of the patrol vehicles. The $10,000 grant was through the Georgia Association of Police Chiefs and the Governor's Office of Highway Safety. The police department also received a grant for a new in-car camera through GMA as well for approximately $4,500. The police department also saw its chief resign in early September and shortly thereafter, the city hired Michael Leslie as the new police chief. Tragedy struck in September as Alma Bacon County lost five of its own in a plane crash. The city staff and Bacon County officials, including Chef Bosky, EMA, EMA Director Danny Turner, worked together to help the families to cope with their loss. It was a time in our community's history when people really came together and showed their love for one another. And Carl of our staff played a, a big part in helping, helping them with this. As in the previous five or six years, the council continued to receive a solid financial report from its auditors. This occurred while the millage rate stayed the same, 11.635. The city saw growth externally as well. Walmart opened its doors in May with its neighborhood market. Richmond Bacon expanded its operation by 236,000 square feet. The popular restaurant savers in the city located in Alma as well. <clears throat> city staff was involved in the community in several ways. We formed a relay for a life team and raised $5,300. The staff helped out the 4-H by collecting shoes to send packages overseas to soldiers. The other child was a success as we cooked and handed out over 400 hot dogs to the local youth. The mayor's motor crate motorcade was a great event for us as we delivered gifts to the Savannah Regional Hospital and to the Bacon County Senior Center, Senior Center along with cooking breakfast while spending time with Santa. We're looking forward to a great 2016. As I began my second term as mayor, I hope that we will continue to find ways to expand, to expand activities for our children. We will also look to potentially increase our water capacity as well. Our police department will be looking to move forward with a new chief that has a great vision for the department and getting to know our citizens. Thank you. I'd like to say that <clears throat> since I've been on council, we have, Lee Hagens and myself have strived to get something for the kids. So it looks like that hopefully maybe by the summertime we'll have something for the kids to do. The thing is, <clears throat> you can either pay now or either you can pay when they're incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So I, I would ask for your support in doing this, and I hope and pray with God's help that we'll continue to do this. Thank you all. <laughs> oh, he's done a, a terrific job. We appreciate him, and we hope him you know, good luck in his venture. And uh, we appreciate everything he's done while he's here. If I can add just a moment, I mean, you know, I've spent 
well, a little over seven years of my life in this position. And so uh, I have seen a lot, dealt with a lot. Uh, and and Miss Peggy's right, as she said earlier in the meeting, not everything's good, not everything's bad. And uh, let me just say this, the, the, you deal with bad, but the good far outweighs the bad. Because helping people, serving people, is what it's all about. And uh, and I just really appreciate the opportunity I've been given to do that. And it really means a lot. And I thank you all for that opportunity. And Miss Rosie, I know we've been together since day one. And uh, and I appreciate you in uh, in our relationship, working relationship we've had. And uh, I appreciate you sticking with me since the first day. Uh, so, uh, but I do appreciate y'all teaching you. I certainly will stay in contact. And, uh, you know, if there's anything I can do, even after I'm gone, uh, I am certainly willing to help. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, moving right along, we we'll have the um, approval of the agenda as presented. Motion <coughs> by Mr. Scott. Thank you. 